So we now prepare ourselves in the loving presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of today, the feast of the presentation of you in the temple when you were presented by your parents, Mary and Joseph. Your own way of revealing yourself to the world, you present yourself as well to us. For each one of us is the temple of the Holy Spirit, your temple as well, O oh Lord. May we welcome you, O oh Lord. May we encounter you. May we see the light that would take away all the darkness inside us. And may we live in that light according to your plan. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory, Glory to you, to o, Lord. you o, Lord. o Lord. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took, took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate of the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace, according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared at the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your people, Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed him and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself, a sword, will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, the tribe of Asher. He was advanced in years, having lived seven years with a husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was 84. And coming forward at that very time, he gave thanks to God and spoke of the child to all who, to, who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to the hometown of Nazareth, child grew and became strong, filled with, with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel. Praise, Praise to you, o Lord. 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 Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. Good morning and good evening. Happy feast day. Happy feast day. Happy feast day. So nice to see you all again, and thank you for taking time. At least, I'm able to see you. <laughs> what is nice today and this feast in the opening prayer earlier in the introduction, it says, outwardly, it seems to be an obedience or fulfillment of the law. But above all, it becomes Christ's manifestation to the world, revealing himself. So my reflection is very simple. Yes, he was presented to the temple in obedience to the law. But above all, Jesus is also presenting himself to us. Each one is a temple of the Spirit. It's one of us is the temple of God. The crucial question would be, will we accept him or not? Will we encounter him? And that I would like to propose three icons for our reflections this evening in this presentation of our Lord Jesus Christ. The first icon would be the icons of Jesus, of Joseph and Mary. They are the images of fidelity and obedience. Yes, they fulfill the law. But beyond that one, their fulfillment 
or obedience to the law is their generosity to offer Jesus. Mary did not only forfeit Jesus for herself or Joseph as well, but they wanted as well to show Jesus to the world, to give Jesus to us, to share Jesus to us. So in short, they are the images for us or the icons of obedience and being faithful above all of generosity. Once we meet the light, we encounter that there's no other way than to give and share the light and be generous about it. Secondly, there is the icon of Simeon, an old man, who was always there in the temple praying, looking forward for this day. And even his prayer not to experience death until he sees the fulfillment of the law. And the Lord had given him that grace. The Lord had given him that privilege. He saw the Lord. And what is the greatest privilege? He was able to hold Jesus in his arms. I guess it's a wonderful gift. It's a wonderful blessing. We could not do it anymore to the physical Jesus. But of course, sacramentally, we will always hold Jesus in our arms. And so Simeon becomes now a model for us to recognize the Lord. And so when we have the light, it means we recognize each one, the face of Jesus and each one. And that's the beauty of our faith. That's the beauty of our life. When we allow Jesus in the temple of our life, we recognize him in others. We recognize him in every event of life. Our faith grows deeper. And thirdly, there is the icon of Anna the prophetess, an old woman who looked forward as well to the revelation of this day. And the Lord had granted her prayer. Perhaps she did not touch Jesus, but she kept on proclaiming the favorable things that the Lord has done for her. And so the Lord has granted her as well that beautiful gift of allowing her to experience himself before her death. But she becomes an icon for us of how to proclaim God's goodness in our life. So let us be guided by these three icons, Mary and Joseph, the icon of obedience and generosity, Simeon, the icon of seeing Jesus everywhere, and Anna, the prophetess, the icon of proclaiming favorably the goodness of God. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, for coming, Lord Jesus. coming into our lives. For coming into our lives. We welcome you, Lord. We welcome, we welcome you, o Lord, Lord. in the temple you, of Lord. our human being. In the temple of our human being that you have created as well. That you have created as well. And affirm us as temple of your Holy Spirit. And affirm us as the temple of the Holy Spirit. Come, O Lord, and be our light. Come, o Lord, and be our light. Remove every darkness that we experience and sinfulness. Remove every darkness and sinfulness. That we become generous and obedient. That we become generous and obedient. Like Mary and Joseph. Like Mary and Joseph. That we may see you everywhere, like Simeon. That we may see you everywhere, see you like everywhere, Simeon. Like that we may proclaim favorable things that you have done, like Anna. And we have that we may see favorable things that we have done, like Anna. Confirm us, O Lord. Confirm us, O Lord. And be with us. And be with us. Be with us. Amen. 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 Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, sinners now, now that they are within the Amen. Saints Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel, pray for us, Angel of God. My guardian dear, dear, to whom God's, to whom God's love is me here, every day at my day, God and guard, and guide, and guide, amen. Saint Augustine, Saint Anthony, Saint Hannibal, pray for us, Saint Augustine, Saint Anthony, Saint Hannibal, pray for us, Saint Simeon and Saint Anna, pray for us, pray for us, Lord be with you. 
and with you, your, your spirit. Almighty God, bless us all in our families, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Okay. Amen. Good evening. Yeah, good evening, Father. Good evening, Thank Father. you very much. Maingay ba? Maingay. Hindi ba? Piano. Okay lang, okay lang, Father. Akala ko maingay kasi kasi may event dito kasi sa nasa hotel kasi ako sa Lake Queen sa Tagaytay may ah, uh, uh, may strategic uh, planning lang yung isang group na invite uh, oh thank you for your time sa amin Father ha ayaw po <laughs> despite wherever ano you are ano po yan will happen may sinabi kayo pa in September ano ano yung sinabi niyo pa Father ano po yung tita Please go ahead. Please go ahead, Tita Nix. Okay, the three pointers taken from Luke. Number one, both Simeon and Anna, being very devout and close to God, were touched by the Holy Spirit to recognize Jesus as the Christ of the Lord. Are we deeply in touch with the Holy Spirit's promptings in our daily living? Number two. In today's Feast of the Presentation of Jesus in the Temple, where he was offered to God, it is good to ask ourselves whether we have lived a life that is dedicated to God. How often have we offered our time and made sacrifices to the Lord? Number three, as the child Jesus is offered to God, he will eventually offer his life on the cross through his death, are we willing to accept the pains and trials of our lives and offer them to God for the good and salvation of others? The three pointers. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tita Nix. <coughs> so, presentation at the temple. Imagine the, the uh, uh, in one of the homilies, no? Um, uh, Simeon and uh, Anna became so old na, very old na, and have been waiting for the for the coming, no, for the for the to touch to touch Jesus or to meet the Messiah. Um, ang lesson dito is sa patience and perseverance, no. Every single day, every single day, they 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 have been praying for this day to come. Na they they're going to meet the Messiah. And I think uh, may isang humili na, na at the age of around mga 85 years old na bago, nila, bago ni Simeon nakita. Bago niya na meet. Oh. Bago, bago niya na meet. Oh. So, patience and perseverance. Every single day nag -pray siya. So, um, Tita Bell, may ano ka no sa Haro Cathedral? Ang... ang, ang the reflections of Haro Cathedral is about the light, about the light bana. Um, about um, February 2nd is the feast of uh, um, Candelaria. Our Lady, oh, Candelaria or Our Lady of Candles. Mm -hmm. So it's it's uh, connected to, to the gospel din. Ah, wala ka dyan. Wala. Naghanap nga ako pero wala. Ah, Okay. So, okay, I'm going to share to you another reflection no, from Marino, that's Marinas, no? Mm -hmm. um, and then hanapin ko bel pagkatapos, no? Mm -hmm. So, it says here, what can we offer the Lord? Ano ma-offer natin sa Lord? Would, be, uh, would we be willing to offer our time for, for the Lord? Perhaps the Lord is not asking us to give all of our time to Him. Even a little of our time will already suffice for the Lord. But have we dared yet to give even a little of our time to the Lord? Mary and Joseph, in compliance with their Jewish faith, brought Jesus to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Many of us are afraid to give our time for the Lord, for there's no money in the service for the Lord. Yes, indeed, there's no money in the vineyard of the Lord, but life is not all about earning money. There's more to life than simply earning money. We can earn all the money in this world and we still end up with, with barren and empty lives. Mm -hmm. 
Have we thought of doing something for the Lord? Have we thought of doing something that would give meaning to our inner being, no matter than our soul, no other than our soul? Material things are important for we also need it for our existence, but it's not to be all and end and end all of life. The be all and end all of life is God. For our earthly possessions, no matter how how enormous will pass us by, but God will not pass us but will not pass us by. He will be with us he, here in this world, and He will still be with us beyond the world. What can we offer our Lord? Amen. So this is about the obedience, the, the obedience of the of of Mama Mary and Saint Joseph, no obedience na na to present the child Jesus to the temple, presentation at the temple. Because Jewish law, Jewish law is um is presenting your 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 son, your yes. son to the temple. He offer, oh, he offer. Oh. So, oh. so we don't know no it was not mentioned here no i don't know if tito mani knows no na, na um, the temple and how far it is uh, it is to nazareth how far is it kasi ang um the the impact of this uh, of today's gospel is uh, um they really joseph and mary really find time to to present jesus in the temple and then and then um ang, ang second thought dito is about about the two prophets no waiting for for the messiah and by the grace of the holy spirit na ano nila they they know they knew they knew it that this is the this is the messiah so waiting for many many years until according to one of the homilies no na at the age of 85 na yung prophet yung dalawang prophet Imagine praying every single day in the temple, in the synagogue, waiting for the Messiah. So patience and perseverance, you know? and um, um, looking and seeing Jesus in every every face. Because they are waiting, so they are waiting, and then, um, siguro yung mga passers by siguro is this the is is this the one ah hindi pa is this the one ah hindi pa is this this child it, uh, is this the Messiah hindi pa until until finally it was really the Messiah that day amen amen, amen. I have here the Catholic mom yeah please huh? There are so many people mentioned in the Gospels that we don't know much about. Anna, the prophetess, is one of them. We know that she was old, had spent much more of her life widowed than married, and never left the temple. She spent her days and nights in fasting, and she was rewarded by meeting the infant, of, the infant son of God. As mothers... We can't exactly pray and fast all day and all night, at least not the way St. Anna did. But we can still meet the Son of God because He's waiting for us where we are. Whether it's making lunch, working, or playing with our children during the day, or rocking and feeding our babies at night, Jesus is there. We can make each act of prayer, and in this way, we can spend our days and nights worshiping the Lord. St. Francis of Rome famously said that sometimes the married woman must leave God at the altar to find him in her housekeeping. And St. Teresa of Avila wrote that God walks among the pots and the ponds. It can be frustrating when the baby cries in the middle of the daily readings when the kids disrupt the family rosary, or when we have to leave the pew with a fussy toddler during mass. But God is in the midst of our busy lives. And as long as we dedicate our time to him, however we're feeling it, we are worshiping him day and night too. Ponder, how do you find God among the pots and the pans when you must leave him 
at the altar. Pray, Lord, may I worship you throughout my daily routine. May my every act, no matter how mundane, glorify you. Amen. Amen. So nice okay. so beautiful, no? Beautiful. Very beautiful. This is what uh, St. Therese also said, that every little thing that we do every day of our lives, we offer it to the Lord. She has a statement, I forgot. St. Therese, the little flower, I forgot oh. her favorite, favorite statement. Because God is everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God what is did everywhere. Father say Simeon. Simeon. That our hearts is like the Jerusalem, the Jerusalem in our hearts, no? Uh -uh, uh -uh. The temple of God. The temple of the Holy heart, Spirit. No? Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. And and we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So yeah. we are the temple of God. Uh, so God is, is here with us always, every moment of our life. And right. to share. So, so according to the Catholic mom, no? Wherever we are, whatever we do, yeah. we offer, yeah, we offer natin. Kasi nandyan siya eh. oh. And he knows really, he knows really what's going on. Mm -hmm. Hindi tayo makatago, whatever we do, hindi tayo makatago. Because he's, he is here with us. Temple of the Holy Spirit. We are, our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So let, let's, let's, uh, let's. Uh, so let's just uh, be aware and be conscious no that everything that that uh, um the presentation the presentation at the temple no we present ourselves no uh um we are the temple of the holy spirit we are at whatever we do talaga we whatever we do let's offer everything to god uh, huwag natin sabihin na oh I don't have time oh I you know oh may duty ako <laughs> kung sa atin pa oh I have surgery oh I have a schedule oh I have a lecture today <laughs> kahit na nagluluto ka kahit na nagwawalis ka naghugas, naghugas ka dyan ng mga ng plato whatever pwede i-offer i-offer natin lahat just yeah. like sabi ni Tita Bell na na si Saint Therese um, of, ano, of a little flower no offer everything so, very nice no very beautiful gospel once again no? anything else other than Tita Bell before Tito Manny no more oh. I will look lang for that uh, beautiful line of Saint Therese I'll give it to you later Ha, ha. Okay. Um, th thank Hello, you very bro. much. Uh, Tito, ha? Tito no man, no more na. <laughs> Tita Nix, do you have something? No, very nice, kasi. Oh, maganda din yung three pointers, uh -oh. no? Ah, three pointers, mm -hmm. maganda yeah. din. Oh. Yung our pains and trials, we offer to that. Yeah. Huh. There is an assurance. There's an assurance na um, blessed are those who suffer or, or who mourn. Something. Mm -hmm. sa eight beatitudes. Yeah. Huh. For they will be comforted. Blessed they, because, are those who mourn. Huh, huh. So For they, they shall be. be they, they, huh, they shall be comforted. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Even if in pains, in sufferings, in trials, in joys, in happiness, it, let's give him thanks. Uh, and let's let's all let's offer our our um our happiness, our our victories, our achievements, lahat lahat, mm -hmm. lahat lahat. I offer natin. Amen. 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 So, closing prayer na Tito Mans.
Well, when we were baptized, um, it is as if we are also offered, no? When we were baptized. Remember? The, uh, yeah, during baptism. Grandparents, okay. they have a candle with them. See? The okay. candelaria has, uh, has something to do with Jesus, who is the light of the world. And gives of light. Jesus is the light of the world. Okay. Kaya, may relasyon yung kandilaria dito sa presentation. Sa yeah, oo. Yes, that's all. Uh -oh. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much, Tito Man. So, oh, related a gospel kayo sa ano eh. Ang, uh, today's gospel and, and the feast of the uh, Nuestra Senora de, de la Candelaria. Related. Related sila. So be not not only have the light and the uh, ano, but but um, um, share the light. Share the light. Sa very popular ito, Nuestra Senora de la Candelaria, no? very, very miraculous ito. Tapos ito ang patron saint ng Haro, Haro Iloilo, sa Haro Iloilo. It's a big, big feast sa Haro Iloilo, ang Nuestra Senora de la Candelaria. Very miraculous. Basta may faith ka lang. Basta may faith ka lang. Tingnan mo ang Haro Cathedral na reflections, very nice. Tapos may seminaryo sila. Yung pinost mo... Kanina, kanina, MJ, ka very nice sa Haro Cathedral, no? Yeah, oo, oh, oo. Oh. Malaki kasi nice. masyado oh. maganda. Oh. Oh, very dyan nice. ako, oh. married life ko, dyan ang ano ko, ang, ang, uh, dyan okay. ang parish ko. Hmm. Cathedral, sa cathedral. Malapit lang sa bahay. Hmm. Pero, okay. pero, I, 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 I grow up sa, ano, sa San Jose Church, San Jose Parish. Ang sa ang Santo Niño din nagyang ba. Tapos dito naman sa Haro Cathedral isa. Malaking ano malaking uh, archdiocese na yun. Malaki. Very very nice ang cathedral na. You were there Tita Bell. Yeah, nga. Yeah, you were there. Oo, oh, pag, oh. pag 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 ano ninyo pag, sa oh, oh. pag visit It's ninyo so sa mga nice. simbahan. Oo. Oo. Diyan nagpunta ang po ang Santos, ang Saint ang Santos. lumalaki daw. Oo. Oh, malaki. Oh. Kasi noon maliit lang hanggang nilipat na sa, sa ano kasi lumaki, lumaki na siya. siya. Oh. Nagtubo. Nag, nag, nag grow ang ang um, ang image. So, oh. Tapos one time may, may story dyan na, na one time during during a big typhoon daw sa sa ano sa Iloilo na na ang ang Our Lady of Candles is uh, nakita nila naka naka enclosure na naka enclosure sa glass no nakita nila na may mga ano may mga may mga dahon-dahon may mga grass may mga blades of grass ang ang damit tapos may mga may mga oo oh, may mga galing ng mga ano tawag diyan yung parang putik ba mm, so she was, oh. she was walking so maybe she walked around mm. maybe she walked around parang so. si Santo Niño Oo, oh, oh, ano then, din, no? si Santo Niño. Oh, ganyan din, it happened din, mm, kay Santo Niño. It happened din, oh, oo. Oh. Oo. Oh, oh. So, so ang tawag dyan, ang uh, very, uh, binibigyan siya ng pangalan ng taga Iloilo, si Nanay Candelaria. Si Nanay oh, Candy. Si Nanay, <laughs> si Nanay <laughs> Candy. <laughs> si Nanay, Nanay Candy. Candy. Mm, no. Doon dumating ang Pope, si Pope John Paul. Doon ko nakita si Pope John Paul sa cathedral. I, I was personal mo no. Ay, I I was <laughs> blessed by by a future saint. <laughs> ma, ma, wow. Very ano eh, very close sa akin. Very close lang ang pope. So, nagajuti ako noon next eh, nagajuti ako. Uh, oh, I I was I previous ka previous. previous. Oh, I was ano, oh, oh. I was with the ambulance kasi maraming ambulance. Ah, oh. Oh. So ako ang naka naka, naka ano, ng isang ambulance, I was the one. Tapos uh, I I had a ticket no, yung ticket na pass 
So yes. I left the ambulance kasi marami kami ma siguro tatlo three three doctors yata sa isang ambulance so isang doctor and the nurse so nakalimutan three ko na nurses. and then oh. I was I really aside by the gate almost by the gate ng oh, ano ang ang ambulance ko so and then somebody gave me this ticket so nakapasok ako kasi may numero nakapasok ako na mga third third row lang siguro ako from the ano third row and then doon sa taas sa um, sa Nuestra Señora de la Cadilla de la Cadillaria na image doon ang po Ah talaga ang galing pope. naman doon Oo I was galing just naman. so blessed What an experience yeah Oo And then um and then future saint pala Nako oh, wow. future saint I was blessed by a saint Yeah Ah galing naman doon <laughs> so, so blessed talaga oh, So blessed So Amen. 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 <laughs> so, Miga Belen for the closing prayer. Okay. <clears throat> Dear Lord, as we close this prayer meeting, let us be filled with your Holy Spirit wherever we go. Let us spread love, joy, peace, goodness, and faithfulness. Thank you for always with us. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Glory be to the, Father, be to the Father, to the Son, to the, Son, the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, in the beginning is now and ever, ever shall be, world, world without end. end. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. See you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.